You know, some people think that bullying is just a bit of banter here and there, but it can be very devastating. I never thought in my wildest dreams that Brodie would take her own life because of what was happening to her. And it does show so much how it can really have that impact on your state of mental health. She was really into everything Brodie. She was everything from a gum nut guy, she'd play soccer, she'd play footy with the boys, basketball, netball, um, singing lessons, you name it. It was like she wanted to fit everything into it she possibly could when she was young. Brodie was a very strong person. She always used to look after other people and really step in when anyone was having a problem. So that's why we couldn't understand why or what was going on with these people with Brodie. What they did was they broke her. That someone can actually contrive to damage someone so badly that they will take their own life. It's broken our hearts. And I, I'm afraid that Brodie was naive. She thought she could stand up to these people. She never ever told us what was going on. Bullying is definitely, um, it's interfering with other people's property, it's put downs, it's spreading rumours about that person, it's isolating them for things that are going on within the workplace. It can be physical, no matter which way it is, it's, it's not right. I think conversation is a big thing with young people. They don't do enough of it. If I'm having a problem, I need to talk to someone that I respect and I think that will listen to me. Your parents, a good friend, a teacher, your boss, HR if you're working, let them know that if it's a problem, you've got to say something. If you think something's going on, you need to come forward. There'd be nothing worse than coming into work one day and that person doesn't turn up for work because they're here no longer and you sat back and you think, oh, I knew what was going on but I did nothing. And it's easy, I guess, to just walk away. It's easy to think, well, it's not my problem, I don't want to lose my job or I don't want to get myself into trouble. That's how a lot of people feel. You know, if you're standing up for someone and you're standing up for your rights and I know how hard it would be, you definitely could be saving someone's life. I think we need a lot more empathy. It's definitely a cultural change. We need to be aware of how our actions can impact on other people. There's nothing nicer when someone asks you that simple words, are you okay? Don't ever feel you're on your own because you're not.